Okay, so what you're gonna do obviously is find your perfect middle part. And as you guys know, I wear my middle part anyways on a regular, so it was already done, but now I'm just perfecting it. And I'm just getting all the little hairs and gelling them down so that I have one perfect straight line. So y'all know that my hair is really, really damaged, so I have a lot of breakage on my hair. So I'm just gelling down, making sure it's really no flyaways. And then you're gonna put your hair behind your ear really, really straight and smooth. You can um, gel it down or you can comb it out to make sure that it's a perfect surface for your body pins. So once you get your hair sleek enough for the bobby pins, you're going to want to hold your hair so that it's really tight and then this is when you can start adding your bobby pins. And it doesn't matter how you style your bobby pins, honestly, I always just do like two straight and then I do an X and two straight X. Or you can do one straight X, but I just really didn't care, I just did whatever. sure both sides of your hair looks the same um, you don't have to necessarily use the exact same bobby pins if you don't want to but in this case I did and they look the exact same now I was unsure of what I wanted to do with it but you can leave it down or you can wear it in a ponytail and because of my outfit I put my hair in a ponytail but you can also leave it down if you would like Okay, so for this hairstyle, your bobby pins are going to be behind your ear. So you want to just take your hair and you want to find a part where it looks best on you. So obviously this is the side that I want my part to be on. And this you're not going to do anything but comb it out and gel it down the flyaways. Okay, so once you get your hair sleek down and smooth, you're just going to make sure you're brushing out all of the hairs together that way it's just neat and nice and then you're gonna comb that side of your hair to the back make sure that it's really tight and then this is when you start adding in your bobby pins now I didn't have a specific style of how I wanted to style my bobby pins so I really just put all the bobby pins in straight You can add as many bobby pins as you want. I was really just freestyling with this hairstyle, honestly.
this is when you can start adding in your designs um, I did all my bobby pins straight and then I just added the X's and you can do however you want how many ever you want it's really up to you This is honestly my favorite style of the bobby pin trend. Um, this is the side swoop ponytail. Now with the ponytail, what you're going to do is find your favorite part that you would like to part your hair or your side swoop. Make sure you comb it out. Make sure your flyaways are gone and you gel it down. Make sure that it's perfect and neat. You need the most perfect side swoop ponytail, okay? When you're doing your side swoop, you're going to make sure that it's really tight and your ponytail is tight. And make sure you comb it out. Make sure you gel it down so that it's really perfect. And make sure that your ponytail is tight. Okay, so here's the fun part. This is when you can start adding in your bobby pins. Now, as you can see, I've been using all black bobby pins, but you can use whatever color you want. I use black only because I have blonde hair. So it can it looks nice. It already looks like it's really a design. But if you have like black hair, you can use gold, you can use silver. It's really up to you. Now with this bobby pin design, I'm just going in straight, straight, and then an X. But you can do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. It's really up to you.